Hey guys! Uh, I'm just trying to fill the void that is my YouTube video list, and I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot, but uh, this is the first time I'm reading a story that I wrote, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Please leave your opinions about my writing in the comments so that way I know maybe how to become a better writer. Also, I thought I needed to do one on my favorite glasses, boy. But, uh, yeah. Also, I did a freaking speed paint, but nobody really watched it. Ugh. Anyway, let's get into it. You sat on the ground, wiping the sweat from your forehead. You had just finished working on a hero costume for a student in 3A. And almost on cue, you sense them nearing the door to the support room. Your quirk, Detect, allows you to sense quirks and deadly substances. It only happens if you're still like a statue, rendering you immobile and open for attacks. But there was something about this feeling though. Of course you felt the presence of the student who requested your assistance, but you sense something else. An engine? The door came open, and the blue-eyed blonde, Aoyama, stepped in. You piped up. Oh, you're back. Well, I finished just in time. You stopped dead in your words when you saw a charming boy with jet black hair and glasses follow him inside. And the pretty French boy that had requested your help spoke. Perfect timing indeed, mon ami! Aoyama only called you this because he was familiar with you and your work. You'd always be one of the students who'd have the skills and pace to finish repairs and upgrades to support items or super suits. And it most definitely didn't hurt th for the fact being that most of your work really helped your clients. Your skill almost rivaled that of Ma Mei Hatsume. Sorry, I can't read today. And due to this fact, Aoyama was among the few people who'd ask for you to do repairs and upgrades. Aoyama then spoke to the boy with the glasses. Well, what did I tell you? He said, pointing at the finished project. They do an amazing job, Nun. The currently unknown boy spoke. From what I can tell, they seem to perform very well at this. A very, very light blush came to your face as you averted your eyes away from them. Oh, well, I... Thank you. You mumbled and spoke a little bit louder. Uh... But if you need any of my future help with improvements or fixing to your costumes, you can just ask me and I'll be willing to help. The mystery boy nodded and turned to leave. Aoyama would have left too, but you stopped him. Uh, wait, Aoyama, who's your friend? He turned over to you and ki kindly answered. Why, that fellow classmate of mine is Tenya Ida. You repeated that name in your head a few times. Tenya Ida. Tenya Ida. Since then, you've been trying to work up the confidence to talk to him for the last few days. But for the longest time, you couldn't do it. Either somebody would grab Ida's attention right before he noticed you, or you'd immediately lost all faith that it would work. But not this time. You Now you had every good bit of relatively high self-esteem. But through miniature hints. Maybe if you get the chance to ask him questions like how has his day been or what book is he reading. But soon enough. You became one of his friends. Alright! I did it! 
on the second try. Yeah. Uh, I really tried with this one. I'm not the most descriptive author, and I'm sorry. Uh. But yeah, like I said, leave your opinions on how I did in the comments below. Uh. Uh, I don't know. This took me the longest time to write. I'm like not even joking. It took me, I think, maybe three or two weeks to finish this. And the script takes up two pages. But yeah, hope you like it. Bye!